Hello, Stuart McPhee here again. We're working our way through Metastock and specifically the Expert Advisor. Now, in another video I did, I went through the majority of the components in the Expert Advisor, but didn't talk about the commentary. I went through the trend ribbon, the highlight symbols and alerts, but by far the most complicated part of the Expert Advisor, or certainly potentially complicated, doesn't have to be, is the commentary. Now what the commentary allows us to do is to have a number of calculations performed on our chart and the results of those calculations or analysis placed in a simple text box appearing on the chart and that's known as the commentary. Now we have my existing expert advisor here so I can right mouse click on the background access expert advisor and then properties and now I'm in the commentary. Now, as I said, a commentary appears just anywhere on the chart in a little text box made up of what we put in here. For example, and I'm just going to type away here, I could write in here, this is the chart of, and now of course I need to somehow relate to the individual chart that I'm looking at. I can't force it in and say this is a chart of uh, Google, because of course I need to be able to apply this expert to any chart and have it present the name of the stock. So what the commentary allows us to do is to put in these variables. And the first one I'll talk about is called uh, name. So I'm just going to put in here inside that type of brackets, name, close brackets, and then in brackets here, symbol. Now, what it allows us to do in the expert editor is come over here to the right hand side and click on the preview. We can see at any time exactly what this is going to look like on this particular chart. So I'm going to click on preview here and notice my preview window says this is the chart of and the name of the company followed by and I'll just place it under there so you can see exactly the name of the company and then in normal brackets the code or the symbol inside these here so the symbol. So that's just a simple and then perhaps I can follow that with a end of sentence there it is. So just a simple example of the variables that we can use within uh, Metastock. We can also go on to say, say this is a chart of, you are looking at a, and I'd like to put in the periodicity here. Is it a daily chart, an hourly chart, a weekly chart? And another variable we can use is called periodicity. You are looking at a periodicity chart and the last period in the chart is, and then we can put in the date, again using the variables there. So if I preview this, sure enough, this is the chart of Telsa Corporation TLS. You are looking at a daily chart and the last period in the chart is 30th of June. Why does it say daily chart? Well, because we've put in here periodicity. And of course it's put in the date. Just another couple of little things, if I at the end of the word date here put in colon L, that means the long version of that variable and I preview it, it won't just have 3608, it'll have 30 June 2008. But I'll uh, just remove that. Now up here you've got very standard uh, font characteristics, we can do all sorts of things here, we can um, you know, make this bold, center it, do all sorts of things, uh, perhaps put the symbol in red so that stands out. A whole lot of things you can do to make your expert, I guess, personal and customise it for your own use. There's a lot of things you can do within Metastock. Rather than going on and typing out uh, a lot of code here, what I'm going to do is go to an expert that I've already prepared from our Metastock programming study guide. I'll just save the changes there and I'll access the expert advisor here and go down to the Metastock guide from our Metastock programming guide expert number two and I'll double click on that or I could access the edit button to open up the properties and you'll notice here we've got quite extensive commentary um, in this particular expert that is part of our Metastock programming study guide and if I just preview this particular one for you this one I think will just take a second or two to load up because um, there's so many calculations that the commentary has to calculate for this. So here we go, this is an analysis of this chart using the Metastock Guide Expert 2. You're presently analysing Monday 30 June 2008 and you're looking at a daily chart. Notice some more information. Now this has been kept very, very simple, but hopefully just looking at this you can get a real understanding of how powerful this tool can be. 
We've got here it's presently trading below a 30 period simple moving average and has been for the last 16 days. How do we get all that information into the commentary? Let's go in and have a look at the, the code for this. It appears right here. The symbol, we know that now, is presently trading stop. What's this bit here? What this is saying to Metastock, if this condition here is true, I want you to write this word here. But if it's not true, I want you to write this word. So what it's doing is it's right if the condition is true or not. It's calculating whether the close is above a 30 period simple moving average. In this particular case, it isn't above the moving average. So it's not using the word above, it's using the word below. And then continues the sentence. A 30 period simple moving average, and has been for the last. Now we calculate if it is above the moving average, pardon me, if it is above the moving average, we need to calculate how many days the bar since it's crossed the moving average. But if that's not the case, we need to then calculate how long it's been since it's um, crossed below the moving average to tell us the number of days. So you can see we have this little um, unique function in here, which is only used in the commentary within the expert advisor in all of Metastock, and that's the right if function. And again, if you go to the help, you can see some further examples of that. And the other example, or the other function that's unique to the expert advisor, and that's the right vel function. And what this will do is write the value of this item here using this number format. For example, down here I've got the word volume, and then I want Metastock to write the value, whoops, have to undo that, write the value of the volume in this number format. In other words, no decimal places. And when we preview that, we can see that the open, high, low, close, and volume should all appear below these couple of paragraphs here. And sure enough, they do. So it gets the volume for the last day and places that in as the value. The other thing that we have here is an incredibly powerful thing that we're very proud to include in the study guide. And that is we even have this expert advisor commentary calculating position sizing information for us. So we're looking at an entry price, how many shares we should buy based on the conditions that we set in other indicators, which all come in and uh, help perform all these calculations here. And you can see there's quite a number of calculations that are used um, in this formula. But again, it's just to give you an idea of how powerful the expert advisor can be and certainly the commentary within the expert advisor.